The second part of the question asks us to draw a borehole in a northern direction from B that makes an actual inclination of 60 degrees to the ground and to show the position of the stratum at that particular place. But we can do this by, as we know, it's in a northern direction coming perpendicular to the line AB and drawing an XY line anywhere in plan. We know the height of point B so we can step that off and as we know it makes a 60 degree and as we know it makes a 60 degree actual inclination with the ground we can also draw in the line from point B that makes a 60 degree angle with the ground. This gives us the true length and the true angle of the borehole. Next, the question asks to find the position of the stratum. To do this, we project back our borehole to our plan view, and from there we look out along our strike, and we project up two lines, the blue lines, as lines to step off height on the stratum of ore. However, from our previous view, the stratum of ore does not cross these two blue lines. So in this case you extend your stratum of ore in your first auxiliary view and this will cross the blue lines. These heights where the red lines cross the blue lines, the stratum crossing our height lines, can be stepped off in our new side view of borehole, the new borehole at B. Stepping off the heights, we now know the position of the stratum of ore, and the ore can be drawn in. This view gives us a lot of information, including the height the new borehole cuts the stratum of ore at, or exits the stratum of ore at. As this is an apparent As this view was not taken perpendicularly to the strike, it therefore is not an actual dip view, so it only shows the apparent dip that the stratum makes with the ground. This is the same model we used for part A of the question, with certain aspects removed from it to make viewing of the model easier. For this part of the question, the new borehole had to be drawn a plan at point B. This can be seen where the mouse is hovering over. To look in directly at this and to see what angle it made with the ground, a view was taken perpendicular to where the borehole would be drilled. This view showed the true inclination the borehole made with the ground and this was projected back into our plan. From there we needed to find the height stratum of ore would cut this new borehole at. To do this it was projected back onto the same plane as it was first to find the two lines parallel. To do this, we first projected a view from our new borehole that was parallel to the strike. This showed the true dip of the stratum and allowed us to extend the stratum out and find high points for our stratum of ore. The red dots represent the high points. These were then projected back to our new borehole and from there they were projected onto our new view. When we found the heights we marked them in. This allowed us to find the two surfaces of the stratum of ore. This view also gives us a height where the mouse is that the new borehole cuts the top surface and exits the bottom surface.
this view only shows the apparent dip that the stratum makes with the ground.